Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today I'm going to share with you some of the items that I purchased in the month of May and I'm going to let you know whether I like them or if I will not rebuy them. And I had quite a few things that I got. Not all of them were shared in previous videos, but most of them were. Um, some of them like from the beginning, they were a little disappointing so I didn't really share them but um, I'll share them today. <laughs> I braided my hair yesterday. I am so excited. I have been wanting to braid my hair since the fall. I normally braid my hair in the fall, but this year I didn't do it. And so I finally, I did it. I finally did it. I have synthetic hair, synthetic braid extensions, and I really do love it. I did do it myself. It took me quite a few hours, <laughs> but what I did was I put on a couple of movies and I just, I just I just did it yeah I really do like it I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep my hair with the extensions in it but hopefully a little while at least <laughs> okay so I'm gonna get right into my products and I think I'm gonna start with my sunglasses are sitting right here so I think I'll just start with these so these were gifted to me this month this is a very special gift from a friend of mine and these are the small cat eyeglasses and they are so gorgeous and I absolutely love these things. They hug my face perfectly, absolutely perfectly. Okay, and this is what they look like. They have the little detail over here and the rims are nice and sparkly. And you can see the arms of the glasses are really, really nice and long. They fit like a dream. I love these so much. They are by far my favorite glasses that I have right now. I think the glasses that I would have said were my favorite before were my coach glasses because they hugged my face like this. But since I got these, I'm like, okay, where have you been all my life? <laughs> so I am like head over heels in love with these. They are so beautiful and I'm so thankful that I received such a beautiful gift and I am cherishing them and wearing them a whole lot, getting a lot of use out of them. Okay. Next, I think I will go on to some makeup products because I think that it will be something that I really, really want to share right now. <laughs> and I'm gonna start off with my favorite makeup purchase that I made this month, and that is my Juvia's Place Foundation 30, 330, I believe it is, 330 in Acra. And yes, guys, this is so fabulous. This is a fabulous, fabulous foundation. If you are wondering whether or not you should try it when it goes into Ulta, I think you. this is definitely something you will not be disappointed in. A lot of the times I will use um, concealer for my foundation and I'll just spot it on my face and spread it out as far as I can. With this, this is like the hugest, a huge concealer. I could just like do that all day and night with this and it's perfect. The color Acra is too neutral for my face but I can't I keep saying that it's too neutral but in reality with my face made up the way I normally do it with my bronzer that is this is the only way I've been able to get one tone for my face and my body whereas normally I have that floating head syndrome and because my face will be too dark above my body and that I don't like but I do I love bronzer bronzer is my friend bronzer is my buddy <laughs> so I just this is making it balanced and so whereas putting it on it looks too neutral by the time I'm done because I don't do the under eye lightening a lot I don't I mean I didn't do that today I just use my my foundation put on my bronzer and that's just it I don't like to put too many layers on around my eyes because I'm really just too old for that <laughs> yes that's it I'm just too old for that it's just gonna bring out every single wrinkle in my eyes so this has worked out perfectly I absolutely love this I absolutely love this foundation. Sticking with Juvia's Place, the other thing that I purchased this month was on my wish list for a very long time. But again, I have so many makeup palettes that I don't like to buy things when they are full price because I think it's just being wasteful and it's just absolutely not necessary. I'm sorry, the sun is going in and out right now. There are clouds going by me, so I'm getting like funny light. Please forgive that change in the lighting. But, um, this Tribe palette from Juvia's Place is, I can't tell you how long I wanted this palette. I am head over heels in love with green makeup palettes. Green, should I say green eyeshadow? 
Green eyeshadow is my absolute favorite thing, and this palette is so perfectly balanced with the the warm oranges, the browns, the, I mean, this is, I, again, this right here, Ashanti in this corner here, I thought it was a brown color, but it's actually a very, very uh, different green color. It's very unique in my collection. I have nothing else that looks like this color. It does look brown. You put it on your skin and you notice that it's really not brown. It's more of a green type undertone color. It is absolutely beautiful and I love it. This. Would I repurchase? Yes. I've actually looked in to see if they have a Shanti on its own just to make sure I don't run out of it. <laughs> Another palette that I purchased this month was the Cover Effects Perfector Face Palette. This is what it looks like. Try not to blind you. This is the inside. This is the deep variation. No, medium deep variation. And this contour color, I'm in love with. I use this every time I do my makeup. There's absolutely nothing in this palette that I haven't used. I love the entire thing. It is so perfect. I love it. I'm so happy that I purchased it. The other powder product that I purchased this month was the Fenty Beauty. And this is the mini size pro filter powder. And this is in Nutmeg. I love this powder. It's absolutely beautiful. I've watched countless reviews on this product and I was not disappointed. I definitely saw that this is a very beautiful product and I love it. I think that this size right here is good for me to use until it runs out before it goes bad and so I will continue to buy the mini sizes but it's absolutely fabulous just to dust over everything and just to be set. Now I have two Black Radiance products. This is the Black Radiance True Complexion BB Cream SPF 15 and this is the True Complexion HD Primer broadband spectrum of S SPF 15 oil free these two I will not repurchase I don't know that I will even finish using them they were not expensive so it's not like I'm I'm not hurt by this but it is um, I won't repurchase these right here this is my lip monthly lip bag I just made a video about this product and I have all <laughs> I already have it stuffed with all kinds of things I have on which color I believe do I have on this one I don't have this one I have yes I have on this color right here flirt I have it on over the perfect tone matte cream from black radiance I have on this color here and then I have this over it the color is absolutely dreamy I love this so much but it's super sticky I'm talking super sticky like you would it eventually if you don't put a topper over it it will start to um, pull it like the bottom lip or the top lip when they mesh together they start to pull away the lipstick from your lips and then it ends up in a clump absolutely terrible but when you put a lip gloss over it like today I have on a lip gloss over it and so it's fine but you can't wear this on its own so these things I will not repurchase I've already canceled my subscription to lip monthly because I felt like it was a good thing for me to do for the introductory price but um I think I would just rather purchase my own products or just to go with another subscription box. So now I have two Wet n Wild items. These came together, buy one get one free. And this is the matte face primer. And this is the matte finish finishing spray. This is by far my new favorite finishing spray that I own. This will be the thing that I go to all the time. I wish it came in a bigger size, but this size is actually pretty good. This lasted me almost a full month. It is, I'll be able to use this tomorrow. I'm sure it will be gone tomorrow. It has a little tiny bit left in it, but this lasted me a full month. It was $3.99 with this attached to it. So I will definitely get this. It is not a matte finish. It gives you a nice sheen to your face. I like that, but it is not a matte finish just in case you think you'll get this and have a nice matte finish. And then the matte primer is not my absolute favorite matte primer. It is at this price because it's not fair to really compare it to something else that is made to sell for so much more money when this right here is like pennies on the dollars for anything else I have. And so this is a wonderful product too. Yes, I would repurchase this, especially for travel. These are two cosmetic brushes that I purchased this month. This is the Real Techniques 213 and the Real Techniques 409. These are two face brushes, face and body brushes. This right here is for your foundation to buff it into your skin. And this one is a little tiny blush brush for you to apply product with. I do not use this for blush. I use this in my travel purse when I go out with my makeup so I can just blend in anything that I need to blend in when I'm out. I find that it's a little bit easier for me to <clears throat> simply 
um, if my makeup starts to look kind of funny just to blend the area where it's looking funny and this brush does it perfectly but then this one right here the bigger one is really good for blending out your jawline and all around your hairline when it comes to your bronzer it does everything like just seamlessly you won't even see that there's any kind of line at all so these are very very good and yes I would repurchase them okay my final cosmetic like item is my unscented facial wipes and these are from I purchased these in Target and I really do like these they are so wonderful they do not irritate my skin at all like sometimes when I'm wiping my face with a cosmetic wipe I notice that um, if I go over an area too much it will tend to make my skin feel kind of raw afterward like when I go to uh, moisturize my skin but I don't get that feeling with this and so I really do like them they come with a total of 30 and it is one dollar this is a snack that I purchased from Aldi's we have a gluten-free diet that we stick to and these are from the simply nature company and these are sweet potato bites these are the ones that we have left they also come in broccoli bites and the kale bites if you can just imagine <laughs> the kale were the ones that my children like the most and then the broccoli the sweet potato my baby loved the sweet potato bites these are so yummy they're almost like um, mashed potatoes with a kind of like a um, toasted crust but they are the vegetables they are so good. They are $3 and I believe 29 cents a box. This is the time of year that they come out with them. They don't come out year round. It's just this time of year. So if you want to give this a try, this is definitely a great thing. And again, they come in sweet potato, kale, and broccoli. So the last thing I wanted to share with you for that I purchased for this month are some new cleaning supplies. I purchased the Everspring cleaning supplies from Target. It is their brand and the Everspring's is, um, I guess they made it to kind of be comparable to the Myers products because they are in that section of the store right next to the Myers. This is the all purpose cleaner. This is the hand soap and this is the dishwashing liquid. These were the three things that I got, but they also have a glass cleaner, a stone and tile cleaner, and laundry soap. Yes, and they are all made out of natural ingredients. They're non-toxic, ammonia-free, 100% natural fragrance, and they clean really well. The scent is not as strong as the Myers. The scent is definitely a lot more soft and natural and I really do like it. This product is 28 ounces for $2.99, whereas the Myers is 16 ounces for about $3.29 regular price. So there's a huge difference in the prices with these. This is so much cheaper. And then this is $2.99 as well for the liquid hand soap. The fragrance that I got with these two is the Lavender Bergamot. It smells so good. And like I said, it's a nice soft scent. It is not something that's going to like fill a room as much as it smells really, really good. For my dishwashing liquid, I purchased the Geranium Herb Dish Soap. And this has a much more soft scent than the Lavender. But when you are doing the dishes, you can definitely get the smell that you want i always feel like i buy the myers so i have a little bit of an aromatherapy kind of experience and it does do that this one does not do it that as much as much as this really does clean your dishes and so it does a good job it's really thick i was able to fill both of my soap dispensers in my kitchen and i still have uh, about a third of the bottle in here so that's awesome and again this was 2.99 the other product that I started using this month, actually it's been a month and a half that I started using this. This is the all-purpose cleaner and then and again this is a Target brand item and this is $1.59 for 32 ounces. This smells, this is the green one, there's a green one, a blue one, an orange one, and a purple one. The purple is lavender, the orange is mandarin, and the blue one is ocean. This one is meadow and it smells like fresh cut grass or with a mix with a little bit of lily and this is my favorite and obviously it's, it's a favorite of many people because this one's always the hardest one to come by this one is one dollar and 59 cents but then I thought I purchased this right here as a cleaner for my floors because it was in the section with the Meyer Myers floor cleaner that you squirt right onto the floor and just mop it up 
that's what I thought I purchased, but this is actually this product. This one right here gets diluted. Use a quarter cup of this, dilute it into a gallon of water, and you get this. This was $2.39. This is such a good deal, and it really does clean your surfaces. I absolutely love this so much. The green one is definitely my favorite, and it is a big winner for me. So those are all of the things that I purchased this month. Most of them I have been loving. There's just a few items that I wouldn't repurchase. Some I wouldn't repurchase simply because I found something more fabulous that I really like, but then they're still good. And I'm really happy with the things that I pur purchased this month. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you come back for another video. If you like this one, please remember to like and subscribe. I would love to have you here and I will see you again in my next video, guys.